It's been a little over a day since the shooting terror attack at a bus station in Ofra, and hospital officials in Jerusalem have now announced that the pregnant woman who was shot in the stomach during the attack is recovering. Her infant son, delivered by emergency C-section Sunday night, however, is not doing so well. The 21-year-old mother was the most gravely wounded, but she and her husband were both injured along with five others in the drive-by shooting Sunday. Today, she briefly woke from her coma, though, where she reportedly spoke and asked for her mother. But as for her baby, doctors believe he suffered brain injury due to the mother's loss of blood from the attack. His condition has continued to deteriorate, and he remains on a ventilator at this moment in a premature infant ward at Sharet Zedek Medical Center. Now, the shooter, or shooters, as it's believed to be, are still in the run with IDF troops setting up roadblocks and conducting raids in nearby areas like Ofra and Ramallah. In fact, IDF troops also raided on Monday the Ramallah offices of the PA official news agency Wafa. Troops seized camera footage of nearby buildings and other materials from the offices, and some clashes sprang up in response, however, with IDF troops firing crowd dispersal means and live ammunition to clear the area. Three Palestinians were reportedly shot and several more were arrested. Palestinian Authority President Abbas has already called upon Arab and other international allies now, demanding that they make good on their, quote, responsibilities regarding the dangerous Israeli escalation embodied in the continued raids of Palestinian cities, end quote. But Israeli officials have already indicated that they will not rest until the perpetrators are found. That being said, these terrorist suspects now join the Balkan shooter as infamous Palestinian terrorists who are in a rare display evading IDF capture. The Balkan industrial zone terrorist Ashraf Na'alawa has been considered on the run, armed, and dangerous for over two months now.